and welcome to our lesson on calculating the shorter side of a right angle triangle using Pythagoras' theorem. So we're going to calculate the vertical length of this right angle triangle, which we're going to call x. And Pythagoras' theorem tells us that the area of the squares on the two shorter sides have a sum that makes the area of the square on the hypotenuse side. So we know the length here is 20 and we've called the vertical length x and we know the length on the side which is opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse and this is given as 25. So the area of this square is going to be x times x which is x squared. The area of this square will be 20 squared and the area of the square on the hypotenuse side will be 25 squared. So x squared plus the 20 squared, which is the area of less plus the area of less, will equal the area of the square on the hypotenuse side. So now we can work this out. We have x squared plus 20 squared, which is 400, is equal to 25 squared, which is 625. So we can take away 400 from both sides. These will cancel, and we're left with x squared will equal 625, take away 400. So x squared will equal 225. We can square root both sides. The square and the square root will cancel, so we're left with x is equal to the square root of 225, which is 15. So we know this length is equal to 15 centimetres. Okay, let's try the blue rectangle. So we're going to calculate the length of x. And you can see that because it's a rectangle, this angle here is a right angle. So what we have here is a right angle triangle where the horizontal length is called x, the vertical length is 7, and the hypotenuse, because it is the side that is opposite the right angle, is given as 20. And Pythagoras' theorem is the square area of this side plus the square area of this side will equal the area of the square on the side of a hypotenuse. So the area of this square is 7 squared, this square is x squared, and the 20 squared is going to be 400. So x squared plus 7 squared will equal 400. We know 7 squared is 49, so x squared plus 49 will equal 400. So x squared will equal 400 minus the 49. So x squared will equal 351. And by square rooting both sides, the square root and the square will cancel. So x is the square root of 351, which is approximately 18.7. Okay, let's move on to the next question. So do you want to pause the video and try and calculate the height of this isosceles triangle where this length and this length are both 10 centimetres. And you can resume the video when you're ready. I'm going to work out the height of the isosceles triangle. But you can see that none of the angles are right angles. But if we drop this perpendicular line down from the centre, we have a 90 degree angle here, where this length and this length are half of a six, so they are each three centimeters. So we now have a right angle triangle, which has a base of three and a hypotenuse of 10, and a perpendicular height of x. So now we can use Pythagoras' theorem. So the area of a square 
on the side of x is x squared. The area of the square on the side of the 3 is 9. And the area of the square on the side of the hypotenuse is 100. So Pythagoras' theorem states that x squared plus the 9 is equal to 100. We can take away the 9 from both sides. So x squared will equal 91. We can do the square root of both sides because the square and the square root will cancel. So x will equal the square root of 91, which is approximately 9.5 centimeters. Okay, do you want to try and work out the length of x in this question by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. So to begin with we're going to calculate the length of this side with the 15 and the 10 centimeters and we have a right angle here and this is for hypotenuse We'll call this one this side y. So we have y squared plus the 10 squared will equal 15 squared. So y squared plus 100 will equal 225. So we'll take 100 away from both sides. And these will cancel. So y squared will equal 125. We'll do the square root of both sides and these will cancel. So y is approximately 11.2 centimeters. So now we know this length here is 8 plus 11.2, which is 19.2. So we have our final right angle triangle where this is 10 and this is 19.2. This is x. We know the area of the squares on the two shorter sides add up to the square on the hypotenuse side. So 19.2 squared plus 10 squared will equal x squared. 19.2 squared plus 10 squared is 468.64. We can square root both sides. These will cancel. So the length of the hypotenuse will be to one decimal place 21.6 centimeters. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.